Alright, hello, welcome to Gary's Mod. It's the next wire tutorial. This will probably be part three, and today I have a friend with me, and he is going to ask some questions, and I'm going to answer them. So, friend, what is your first question? Oh, man, I was wondering about screens. Just, just all about screens? And okay, text so screens, perhaps? Screens and text screens, yeah. Alright, well, in that case, we'll talk about screens and text screens. Okay, so... Uh, normal screens, it pretty much displays two values, so you have, like, I mean, all these different models, and then there's the top and the bottom, it's two different numbers, it's pretty easy to wire, like, A, you know, A and B, if you have, like, let's see, what can we wire that's cool? Hmm. Yeah, l let's say we have a GPS, because, you know. Oh. And, okay, so, put a GPS here. And then you can wire A to, like, X, for example, and then B to the Y, and this way, and then it'll be like, oh, this GPS is here, and if you move it around, the numbers will change. Oh, that, that's great. Um, and, like, okay, so how about... And then... Would it work with the target finder if I just put this here, wired it? It can work with the target finder if you want. If you have, like, if you want to wire the A, for example... Whoa, goodness. Oh, Let's God. pick that back up there. Alright, if you wire the A to the 1, for example, and the, it'll tell you if it's a 0, that means you don't have a target. If it's a 1, that means you do have a target. Oh, well, that's great. So, and then also with these screens, there are a couple other options that are, you know, good. Mm -hmm. uh, only one value, which would be good for this, is assuming we only have, you know, the one value, which is the, you know do we have a target, then we just want one value, and you, there's also the option to use bigger font, so if you use the bigger font, which I prefer because it takes the whole screen, then you'll have the whole screen that just displays that. And then there are a couple, left alignment obviously aligns it to the left floor screen value, we'll always round it down so you don't have ridiculous decimals. Um, so yeah, if you change your target finder settings to like target me for example, then when it finds me, it will, um, you know, it'll say has target is one. Oh, all right. Okay, and so I imagine this would also work well, but how about if I wanted, like, a big bomb, and I wanted to set that bomb off? Would it do a countdown for me? Uh, it can do a countdown for you. Well, it depends on the bomb, of course. If the bomb has to have a wire output of its countdown, like if you do the Nakuda bomb from Stargate, that should work, I believe. Well, let's try it out. My bomb. Yeah, right. if you do, let's see, Great. let's wire the A to the countdown timer, right? And then, if we go ahead and turn this on, yep, countdown timer, 9, 8, 7, uh, abort, 6, abort. 5, I'm gonna throw this away. Oh, alright, that works too. 3, 2, two 1, oh, kerblam! And there it goes. That oh, might actually oh. be too close. But yeah, so you can wire it to all sorts of fun things. Yep, okay. Like bombs, okay. Yep. And what about text screens? Ah, text screens. Well, these are used to display, believe it or not, text. Oh, ho ho! Who would have thought? Yeah, I know. Watch out. But, oh, okay. you know. Uh, I mean, generally you would probably manipulate these using either a constant value or an E2, but because this is a basic wire tutorial, we're not going to use an E2, so we're just going to use a constant value and a, um, whatchamacallit thingy, uh, the def default text you can also do, which is probably easier. If you want to be like, 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 drop pods that away, or whatever. I mean, this is obviously a horrible looking screen, but if you type drop pods that away, or whatever, if you're like labeling things on your ship, that's what you could do, just by setting the default text, or if you want to go to constant value, which is under input, comma, output, um, then you switch type to string, you can type, like, that away for drop pods, and then put this down, and then you would wire the string of the text screen to the output of the constant value, and it would say that away for drop pods, oh, or, right. you know, whatever so you want. Basically, it's kind of like a sign. Yeah, it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty much just a sign. Oh, alright. Yep. So that <laughs> is screens and text screens. Thanks for watching, and goodbye. Oh, very nice.